So we I just got done explaining why instead of starting at 20, he's starting at zero. That's because he's counting up. Now, if I were playing the Turbo Fog deck, I would actually start you at 63, and we'd just keep track of the number of cards. All right. It's whatever you're left to. Yeah, there you go. You're good. Yeah. It's probably not a bad idea to shuffle mine a little more because it was in deck tech order, and so better to give it a good hearty shuffle. Oh my goodness, that squeaky toy. <laughs> that squeaky toy of the damned. All right, now see who goes first. Ah, you got it. You got it. Would you like to be on the plate? Yeah. All right. Here we are. Boink. Hey, not entirely awful hand. I will keep this. Oh, Dogos. I only regret that I did not bring my drink in with me. That's all right. Coffee life. Oh no! Well, this does give me a chance to go out and get. No, it's fine. Hey, it's fine. We'll make it. You wouldn't believe it by looking at me, but it is decaf. <laughs> I'm in a very good mood. Today is a day when I'm about to go and get Evangeline, so I have hope. I have something to look forward to. That said, here's the hand. So we'll, we'll see how that treats me. Okay. All right. sound I'm hearing. Only PlayStation. Ah, uh, that would do it. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. What? Forest go. <laughs> Jun Forest. It's actually one of my favorite because of the contrast between the red and the green. It just looks gorgeous to me. Even though Jun is probably Flavorfully, my least favorite of the shards. Gender Grixis, one of the two. Of, of course, they share Rakdos, so of course that would be what I'd find not terribly appealing. Yeah. Now, if you like Rakdos, by all means, but it's not my cup of tea. All right. Hey, Golgari Thug, the hard cast Golgari Thug. Okay, fair mm -hmm. enough. Go ahead. Ooh, okay. Take it, go to one, or <laughs> go down one. Good, good. There we are. All right. Theros Forest. Iker Claw Mirror. Past turn. <laughs> okay. Okay, dogs. Foggy Green. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Number two. I will take two. Put me to 17. Second with you. Uh oh. John Fifth, Filth, the Iker Claw. In response. I will cast Ranger's Guile. So give it Hexproof. Okay. Alright, so because it doesn't resolve, we don't get the four, you know, mill. Go ahead. Alright. Now he's only left with green mana open, so... 
now is probably the time. If I can find a way to add it all up. Rancor? Mm -hmm. If I can find a way to. But alas, probably not. I'm gonna swing for three. Mm -hmm. Alright. Seems good? Okay. Yeah. We'll roll you up. Blip, blip, blip. Alright, main two. And so I tapped it a little early, but it's getting to glisten. Right on time. Right on time. Pass turn. I'm gonna re tap my land such that the two matching ones are tapped. That makes all the difference. Real close to just hard casting. Go to 21. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. Hooting Mandel's time. That's a thing. Good for me. Oh, we'll take it. Go to 16. Go ahead. All right. Oh, that's awkward. That's awkward, Jay. Double rancor. Okay. I would like to go to combat. Okay. Swing five at you. This is Popper. They're not exactly planeswalkers. Okay, so before we get to anything else, trigger, trigger results. It's a plus two plus. It gets plus two plus two till end of turn when it's blocked. Oh. And it's not for each creature. So it's just even though two creatures are blocking, it's a base three three. And with Rancor, it's a seven three. Just right now. All right, so we're good so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. 7-3, make it... Let's see, that's five right there, we're looking at... Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this turn. We're gonna kick Vines of Vastwood, plus four, plus four. Hexproof, it's not actually hexproof. Mutagenic growth, for lethal. Yeah. Alright, game two. Yeah, because it's 7, 11, 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Alright, my friend. Oh, there we go. 1, 2. Good for you. There we go. Here we go. 7A. Let's see how this works. So you'll be on the plate? Yeah. Being informed about Free Friday, something that Kroger does. T1 Blister Elf not sponsored by Kroger. That would be kind of cool though. I would, I would take that. <laughs> Squeak. Uh, I'll keep it by the way. Uh uh, I know what that means, doll. Oh, there you go. Get the bouncy ball away from the tripod. I know what'll happen. And in the meantime, yeah, oh, whoa, dog, you knocked it off quite a bit. Good grief. Conrad, the barbarian. Yeah. Is it better than a six and a half? It's a common. Oh, all right. We'll we'll try game three. We'll try a sub game three. 
So I learned today that the Switch, the, the one year anniversary for the Nintendo Switch was about a month ago. It kind of surprises me that it's been a year, let alone more than a year. I do not have a Switch. I do not plan on getting a Switch. But for the culture, I guess, I find it kind of cool nonetheless. Okay, I will keep. I will keep. For the culture. Alright, you're up. Go ahead. Alright. Let's see. Forest go. Alright. Let's see how we do with this one. Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh. Stretch. Always get a good stretch. Hey. Close enough. Alright, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Go 21, go ahead. Yep. Right. Haunted Fingraph. If you ever know what that does. Later in the game, I'll get to turn a cre return a creature from my grave to my hand. Uh, Blight Mamba Mud. Pass turn. Infectors in here. Yep. Requires some mana to regen, though, so if you want to kill it, now's the turn. Drown it in some Fruit. filth. Ooh, better. Got a 19. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Go ahead. All right. Ooh. You will not get to see the spice, but that is kind of interesting, I suppose. There's a planes in the deck. Ikerclaw mirror. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Planes. Yes. <laughs> Not quite mono green, in fact. Sort of. It's something I'm trying out. Go ahead. Alright. Another forest. I would like to go to combat. You got me. Main two. Mm -hmm. Blight Mamba. Pastor. I will stick this thing somehow. <laughs> One of these days. Alright. Come on, Dag. Uh, yeah. Now, now I can reach in if I have to. Though, I don't think that the regen does anything against your deck unless we're talking about creature combat. I think all of your other ways to deal with creatures don't care about regen. Drown in Filth, Geth's Verdict, other stuff maybe. You may elect to choose Vines of Vastwood, Mutagenic Growth, Apostle's Blessing, last one's a Terramorphic Expanse. So, all seem like good hits. Infects Greatest Hits. I'm gonna check the time real quick. Apostle's Blessing. Ah. That's that's the goner. Wait, and you can see the white is there for hard casting. It. Full casting it, I guess. Do this. Can let me see. Yep, it sure can. It sure can. There we go. Yeah. I am in agreement. Uh -huh. Alright. Well. Kinda hard to fool you on this one. 
play the expanse. Alright. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Kicked vines. Mm -hmm. Now, decisions, decisions. Because I have a growth in hand. And if I use that, then I won't trade. You don't have any cards left in your grave. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Alright. Crisis ever so temporarily averted. Past turn. Gonna, yeah, I'll fetch just to save some time. Mm -hmm. Even though that's not the optimal thing to do. Because obviously it's popper, in fact, there's there's gonna be a ground swell in here. Hey! Hooting mandrels. Okay, that's a thing. That's turn? Mm-hmm. How many cards do you have in hand? Two. Okay. Last turn. Seems okay. Block. Regen. There's a nil counter on it. Mm -hmm. We'll find a nil counter or we'll just remember it. Alright, cool. A nil counter. One. Regen. Right. Pass turn. Three threes out now, and a one one. Can I use a sideboard card of yours? Here's its nil counter. Just the one. Oh my goodness, Conrad, please, dear goodness, would you not? Mm. Alright. One, two. Those are my only creatures. One Blight Mamba, one Icar Claw Mirror. So if I roll odds here, I'll get Blight Mamba back. If I roll evens, I'll get Ickclaw. Even. Okay. In that case, we'll trade. It's just in my hand, sadly. Alright. Pass turn. Check in time. We're gonna have to speed. Let's play some speed magic, cause I'm about to have to go. There's no solid. Okay. One, two.
to I. The Metroid misprint. Okay. Stinkweed Imp, two lands. The Metroid misprint, Stinkweed Imp. Alright. Alright, Baron Noir. Fair enough. I like that choice. Yep, sort of. Spy. Body for your. Blip, blip, blip. Good. Alright, there we go. I may have a thing or two to do. Right. Pass turn. You just clean. Alright. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, no. Response to Rinker. Oh, you're hitting the Iker Claw yeah. Mirror. Okay. In that case, Apostle's Blessing pay two. Okay. Which makes the Rancor fall off anyway, but I get to keep the Iker Claw Mirror. Because Pro Green, unfortunately, is what I have to name. So, alas. Alas. Wait a minute. I think... Yeah, I think the Rancor stays in the yard. Alright, so yeah, anyway, pass turn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that, that makes significantly more sense here. <laughs> Alright. What you got? Alright, put me to eight. Hiya! Trigger. Pay for mutagenic growth. Mm. Alright. Cool. Faster. Yeah, just a sideboard card. Uh, I don't want to concede due to time. I really don't want to. Alright, that's good. Cool. Yep, fair enough. Three in here. Alright. Go ahead. Oh. Relic. Mm -hmm. Pop the relic. Combat. Mm -hmm. All right. So trigger, obviously, it's a three-three. Mm -hmm. Predator Strike, plus three, plus three, Trample. All right, so I'm dealing one, two, it's a three, six, sends two, so I'm dealing four to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. <laughs> All right, and then pass turn. Three in the year. All right, what you got? Sign and blood target you. That'll do it. Good job. Last one was a mutagenic growth top deck. Rancor! Ah! All right. I got to go, man. Good games. So I brought in two Relic of Progenitus, and while we didn't see it, I also brought in two Corpse Cur to fight against. I was anticipating more removal, and if you kill a Corpse Cur with its trigger, you know, like, it's on the battlefield trigger on the stack, it can actually get itself back. Mm. So that's always interesting. Uh, obviously, it doesn't do much against Exile, for instance. Um, but you might still be able to get something else out of the yard. So here's the other corpse card. There's cards that I cited out, actually. I cited out for Ranger's Guile. Yes, I still have Binds of Aspect and Apostle's Blessing, uh, but this is just plus one, plus one. It's kind of weak, and I was experimenting with corpse card to see if it's even worth being in the sideboard. The Relic of Virginia's makes a lot of sense. Alright, so Nature's Claim and Victim of Night. Yeah, bring in more spot removal. That'll do it.